Hello, thanks for sending over the photographs and the ponding on these first pictures that you show me doesn't really concern me. Um, I know you've, uh, um, you're quite anxious about this ponding but it, it's, it's not that concerning. Um, again when I look at this, yeah it's a, it's a, it's a big area of water and um, at, at the moment on these photographs I'm not too concerned. Now when we start looking inside um, at this, I note this door opening, um, French doors, window either side. Then when I look up underneath this, I can see that I'm looking, I think I'm looking at some insulation. So I think this is a warm roof construction. Now, <clears throat> I can see a what we call a trimmer running across here. That trimmer is taking all the weight of this part of the roof and that part of the roof. And I can't see the skylight. I'm assuming the skylight is somewhere around about here. In which case, you, you, the reason you've got a puddle probably in this area of the roof is that this trimmer is sagged. I can't see if it's a double timber or a single timber or if it's a steel um, or even a f what we call a flitch beam, not to get too technical. Is it, cr is, it is it crucial that you get rid of the water? Well, the water's um, going to do one of two things. First of all, it's got a weight, and the weight of the water is not helping the fact that you've got uh, some kind of movement of the roof underneath this. We call it deflection. How far it goes and how far it will continue to go really depends on is the room inside completely open? Have you put any um, separating walls up uh, inside? Um, will it continue to sag? Difficult for me to say without really appraising it. We see it an awful lot. Um, all I can say is you know, really monitor it. Um, how can you get rid of the water? Well, there's not many ways really of getting rid of that water. Um, not successfully uh, with a lightweight material. It's always come into my mind that it'd be really nice to be able to put some kind of insulation over the top in this area because the insulation is lightweight. Glue it down so that we raise this area up, pushing the water elsewhere. It's really messy. Um, there is no real way of doing it without completely rebuilding the falls to the roof um, which is hugely expensive. So that's as much information as I can really give you at the moment. I think you've indicated that the roof leaks every now and then. Um, and uh, re-roofing this roof, um, the only thing I would suggest if you did re-roof it, and it is a warm roof, I would deal with these parapet walls at the side if it was me um, and I would deal with the, uh, if you're not going to deal with the um, settled water here, um, by putting an EPDM roof over the top of this, at least you wouldn't have the weight of these stones. Now, the stones at the edges don't really contribute to the problem. It's only the stones in this in this area here. I would suggest that there's probably four or five, maybe six bags of stones there, which would uh, eventually come off. Um, um, so you would be saving around about 150 kilos uh, of stones alone. And if you were to think of a midway way of dealing with this, perhaps if you weren't to deal with the timber work which is running across, when a new roof was put in this, to lower the roof in this area here, which would just yes, eat into your insulation, but you realise why you're doing it, you wouldn't have to go in too far, um, would then enable all this water to drain out of that area into the gutter. It's just a, a suggestion, it's a halfway, it's not a, uh, a known um, way of doing things. I do do a video which um, um, many years ago I put up on the internet, I'll see if I can find it, but it's a very old in uh, video where we did something like that um, and it works successfully. Um, so hopefully that helps you, that's as much as I can really do. If you need any more information, um, please send through some more photographs. My name's Steve from London Flat Roofing.